good morning, everyone. As you can see, I'm down in the gathering space. We are getting ready for the walkthrough with Jesus here on Palm Sunday afternoon. If you would like to come on down and see this, we've got things all around here in the gathering space. And this morning, our favorite family is also the Bearstein Bears are gonna find out about the very first Easter. The bear cubs loved Bible stories and Papa loved reading them to the cubs. Time to settle down for the night, cubs. It's Easter Sunday tomorrow, said Papa. Are you going to read us a bedtime story before we go to bed, Papa? Said sister. Honey claps, please, Papa, she says. Of course, I will read to you. Do you have a story picked out, brother? Brother picks things for a moment. How about another story from our storybook Bible? There, there's one about the very first Easter. Papa opens up the story Bible and, and stories and smiles. Yes, here, let's begin. Long ago, Jesus lived in the Holy Land, teaching about God and what God wants for his people. One day, Jesus and his disciples went to the holy city of Jerusalem. The people of Jerusalem greeted him with joy. They shouted, Hosanna! And they waved their palm branches. which means save us. They believed Jesus was the new king of Israel. Hosanna. The leaders in Jerusalem grew worried. They did not like it when the people called Jesus a king. They already was a ruler of the land. They thought Jesus was causing a lot of trouble. They did not understand that the kingdom of Jesus was really the kingdom of heaven. It was the feast of the Passover while Jesus was in Jerusalem. That is the holiday when Jewish people remember Moses led God's people out of Egypt. Jesus and his followers had a special Passover supper together, just like everyone else. And if you can see, we have the bread. This is the station I believe set up for the Passover. And it looks so. Jesus and his followers ate together. And then after the meal, you'll hear what happens. During the supper, Jesus and his followers told his followers how much he loved them. Then he broke a half a loaf of bread in two. He poured out the wine and shared with them. The bread and the wine is like my body and blood, he said. Eating and drinking these things will remind you of me. Jesus told them he would be leaving them soon, but they did not really understand what Jesus was talking about. Later that night, Jesus went to the garden to pray. Some of his disciples were with him, but they soon fell asleep. Judas was one of Jesus' disciples, but he had turned against Jesus. He decided to help the angry city leaders put Jesus in prison. He led some soldiers to the garden to take Jesus away. The disciples were afraid and ran away. The leaders of Jerusalem decided to hand Jesus over to their ruler. He was a Roman, 
Roman named Pilate. Pilate decided to show everyone that Jesus was not really a king. After asking Jesus many questions, Pilate ordered Jesus to be put to death by hanging him on a wooden cross. The day Jesus died was a terrible day. The sky grew dark and the great wind arose. Many people were afraid. Some people prayed and other people ran away and hid. After Jesus died, some of his friends carried his body away and laid it in the tomb. The tomb was closed with a great stone. Roman soldiers guarded the tomb. Three days after Jesus died, the earth shook. An angel came and rolled the stone away from the entrance of the tomb that sat, that sat on the stone. When the soldiers saw the angel, they fell down in fear and ran away. An angel told three women who were visiting Jesus' tomb that Jesus had risen. They ran to tell of Jesus, friends, the news. But Jesus himself came to visit them in the room where they were staying. The disciples were amazed. Jesus was alive and they fell down and worshiped him. Peace be with you, Jesus said. Jesus told them to go and spread the word, the good news about what had happened. And then 40 days later, Jesus rose up to heaven to be with God, his father. The followers of Jesus rejoiced and praised God. Papa closed the Bible. The cubs fell fast asleep. Good night, Papa whispers. And God bless, and he carries honey off to bed. And that is the story of Easter.